we've heard many comments. I get a lot of calls on, on this issue, right? Well, the lack of total transparency in the handling of these programs. You hear a lot on social media and in the news that it appears that persons of a, pol of a particular political persuasion seem to have first preference at benefiting from these programs, while others have not benefited. I listened many a time to the, to the um, calling shows in the morning about people saying that they've tried to get on these programs and still have not. I've given examples of those in the past in this house, and that remains a travesty. In my case, it's not just that we've heard, uh, we've heard those on the radio, etc. I have personally met people from my area, across Danriga, in the Sarawi area, up in Ho Creek, who have told me that they have been waiting, they have not gotten what they have been promised to get, they have applied, etc. I am telling you what they have told me, what I have seen with my own eyes. This is not second-hand information. This is very relevant to this motion, uh, Mr. President, because we want to ensure that these funds reach the people who are in most need. And I'm sure the government wants that as well. So if we have an oversight body that includes the persons, of the, the, the entities I have suggested, where they will have impartial persons going there to look at how things are operationalized. It feels, it feels, Mr. President, almost like deja vu, as it was not even a month ago when we were here approving a loan for 12 US million dollars from the Inter-American Development Bank that was geared towards the vulnerable populations of our country. And today, I did, as I did, I ask again, as I did back then, where is the money? Where did the money from this $12 million go? And I asked, Mr. President, because, again, we are talking about food. There has been no disclosure as to who are the persons benefiting from these loans. Who are the persons receiving the food? And that is in light of the outcry in the public that they are not receiving, Mr. President. So I did some, math, some mathematics, and I came up with a, a total of 22,500 Belize dollars, which essentially is the entire loan package, even a little more. So my question is, what does that leave for the awareness and education campaigns. We need to invest resources in spreading the message every day, come constantly. Just like will soon start to happen because of elections, we'll start, to see, we'll start to see political ads every day. We need to see that for the awareness and education.